Hello friends, welcome to Insight Text. This is a platform to learn about power transmission elements and its control system. Friends, in today's video, we are going to start with a new series that is about bus bar protection scheme. In order to understand the bus bar protection scheme, first of all, we will be learning about different types of bus bar, how bus bars are available in the substation. What are the types of bus bar that are available in the substation? So what is a bus bar first of all? So a bus bar in a substation is an arrangement of three current carrying parts which collect current from incoming feeders and distribute that current to the outgoing feeders. So basically a bus bar is like a junction where current will come from one direction and will flow into the another. And bus bar will provide that path for the current to flow from one feeder to other. So right over here as you can see the horizontal green path that is seen over here like this that is called the main bus bar and the vertical lines are the feeders. Incoming feeders or outgoing feeders that will be depending on the direction of current flow. So you can see over here the total current is getting distributed. This is the incomer and it is getting distributed to this. Again, this is incomer and it is getting distributed. So, this horizontal green is called the bus bar. So, what we have seen up till now is a single line diagram of a bus bar. But in actual substation, you will find bus bar arrangement something like this. R, Y and B phase. Similarly, R, Y and B phase for either it can be a transformer or a feeder. So, like this you will see a single bus. This is the arrangement of a single bus. Now, let us see it in more detail. So, a single bus substation, double bus substation or a three bus substation. So, a bus bar arrangement can be in any of this form. Again, in single bus substation, we have only a single bus substation and a single bus with a sectionalized bus substation. For a double bus substation, there are two main bus substation or main bus and transfer bus substation and the other one is main come transfer bus substation. In case of three bus substation, there is only a single three bus substation arrangement. So in today's video, we will learn about a single bus substation scheme. So single bus substation scheme you can see in a single line diagram form, this is the main bus. Then it is having two bays of transformer. It will have all the elements you can see like this. But we are only focusing on bus section today. Then there will be all the elements of feeders. So what will be the current flow? The current flow will be something like this from transformers. The current will be coming to the main bus and then it will be flowing in feeders one by one depending on the load and the current carrying capacity. Okay, so this is the main bus arrangement, single bus arrangement scheme. Now there are few drawbacks of this uh, single bus arrangement scheme that is if you want to do maintenance of this bus conductors or any of the jumpers that are connected or any of the conductors that are connected through this main bus then you will have to take the outage of the entire substation you have to shut down both the transformer you have to, is to isolate this main bus scheme okay so in main bus scheme the only drawback is for maintenance purpose you will have to take the shutdown of the entire substation and on the other hand there are many uh, advantages for main bus are this is a compact size arrangement so in a very small area also single bus uh, substation can be made okay it will require less space another advantage is its compact design and uh, very easy to analyze what kind of devices are present and how the power flow will be occurring in the substation so easy to maintain and compact design can be made in the form of a single bus substation the other type of single bus substation is single bus with a sectionalized substation bus substation 
so what is the difference over here is a isolator or a circuit breaker is kept in between and so that it provides a section in the main bus itself this is the same bus but it is now having two sections so in order to do the maintenance you can open this isolator and you can isolate both the bus so in that case the total substation will not be zero power you can do maintenance of this bus in two sections okay so just by turning on this transformer this bus will be on and if this transformer is on then this entire section will be on so this is the single bus with the sectionalized isolator okay this is the same bus it is only main bus one only but it is in the form of section so power flow be like this double bus substation so it is have, we are discussing two main bus now so bus 1 and bus 2 for bus 1 and bus 2 the arrangement will be something different see if this is one of the feeder bay then the number of isolators will be more in this case see you will see this is a selection isolator provided over here to select bus 1 or bus 2 similarly if it is a transformer bay like this it will have two trans two isolators for selection selecting bus 1 or selecting bus 2 now there are many kind of combinations that can be done using this isolators this isolators can select either one of the bus it may connect it on both the bus or there is arrangement of a bus coupler to do that thing okay so what is the function of bus coupler is it will connect both this buses when both the isolators are on both the buses are connected we will understand that in detail so for now let us consider this is the feeder and we want to connect this feeder to bus 1 so bus 1 isolator is closed power flow will be flowing like this now similarly if you want to connect this feeder to bus 2 this isolator will be closed then bus 2 is selected for transformer bay it is this is closed that means bus this transformer is operating on bus 1 and similarly for this transformer it will be operating on bus 2 now what will be the power flow power flow will be something like this okay so it will be flow the power through this feeder will be flowing to bus 1 and from bus 1 it will be moving towards the transformer now similarly for bus 2 power flow will be flowing like this and again it will go to transformer 2 through bus 2 when bus coupler is made on the power flow will be connected from both the bus so in either case depending on the load okay and depending how the current is so power can be if there is re more requirement of power on bus 1 through bus 2 power will be flowing to bus 1 and vice versa the flow of power will be maintained now let us consider few scenarios in this case so let us first consider in the case of a tripping of any one of the feeder say if there is a tripping in one case because of that the power flow will be stop flowing through this line into this bus okay but what will happen is this this will be on so through this bus also and through bus coupler this transformer will be fed power something like this okay so if this if this bus is if this line is out in that case also it will not affect the an other part of the substation any other part of the system so what was happening in single bus substation was if there is a tripping of that bus then all the feeders will be affected okay but in this case if there is a tripping then other feeders will not get affected because it will get power continuously through bus number 2 and bus coupler right 
Now let us consider another case of bus maintenance. If you want to perform maintenance of this one bus. Okay. So it will be very easy to free this bus. Okay. Because all the, all the, all the elements will be connected to bus number 2. Okay. And if this bus coupler is off and this isolator is open. Then in that case main bus 1 will be isolated. So we have learned about single bus substation, bus single bus with iso, so sectional isolator and uh, double bus system, two bus system we have learned with two main bus. Okay. So in next video we will continue with main bus and transfer bus substation and main come transfer bus substations. Let us hope uh, you have learned the concept about two bus and single bus system today. Keep watching our videos. Keep liking our videos. Thank you.